Okay, so I haven't filmed a video in a long time. Why? There's so many reasons. I realized a long time ago, I did say that I wanted to make YouTube videos and I told that to a friend and she told me that that's ridiculous. So it just comes to my realization now that I shouldn't care about what she says. Okay, so we're just ignoring all of that for now. So with that being said, I wanted to film a makeup collection. I know there are a lot of like makeup collections out there and mine's really not that big, but you know what? Everyone's collection's different, so I just wanted to show mine. It was not meant to brag or anything. I just want to share what my interests are. <clears throat> Shoot. Right, this is where I keep all of my makeup. It's just in this like organizer thing. I didn't choose out this light blue color or this mint green. Shoot, it looks dirty. It just holds everything for me, which is fine for me now. At the top of this, I just keep all the things that I use regularly. Right here, I just have my contact case. I just put them in right now, so right now. I just quickly rinse it out and I'm leaving them to dry right now. Normally these contacts will stay right here. I have a basic acrylic organizer next to my contacts case. I would have these rubber bands. I just use this for hair. This is not makeup, so. <laughs> oh shoot. <gasps> so the first product I have is this jelly highlighter. Um, my sister was allergic to it, so she gave it to me. This is from e.l.f. I like barely use it. But occasionally here and there I will. Right next to that is this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So those two just sit right there. Oh shoot, there, there used to be an eyeshadow palette but it was really gross. Here are the lipsticks that I mainly choose out of every single day, except there are some tweezers right here, just cause it's easy to grab. These two are just my regular lip balms. This one I use more often. This is just a Shea Moisture Shea Butter Vegan Lip Balms. Okay, it's very thick. So. A lot of people already know what this is, this is Aquaphor. I only use this occasionally because I also have like the ointment, which I actually prefer more. So to the side of that, I have this Revlon, Revlon Matte Lip Balm. This is in the shade 225 Sultry. This one's really, it's very pigmented. So sometimes I don't really use it. I also have a Revlon Matte Lipstick. It looks like a poopish color, but really it's like pink. It's actually hard to see, but yeah. Often I will reach for this because it is long lasting, so it's like good for school. And it's not like so dramatic. Here I have my lip glosses. These are buxom. These are like the most expensive lip glosses I have, but I did pay for this myself. These are really thick and the shade is in Rose Julep. And normally I'll just wear these for school because they do last for a few hours. I actually like them, so. This shade is also a sugar drop. I think this was in a collection, so I don't know if they actually have it sold individually. So I have a Rimmel, Rimmel by Kate Moss. Wait, Kate Moss by Rimmel. I don't know, this one's pretty old, but sometimes I just dab it on my lips. This one's actually a really dark red color. Yeah, so it looks like that, but it's, oh my gosh, nor are my feet. Oh my gosh, it looks better in this light, but yeah, that's the color of it. The last one that I have up here is one that my boyfriend bought for me. This is NARS. I'm pretty sure this is like the lip glide. Okay, so this is a velvet lip guide. It's in Roseland. We actually got this from <laughs> DJ Maxx. I don't know. Normally I don't buy high-end brands, and I think this is discontinued. It's probably really old. Behind these three palettes, okay, this is the L'Oreal Paris Luminous Lash Paradise. A lot of people have that. This Essence one was popular. I just got it because it's popular and it's also cheap, but this one is actually really wet. And here I have a MAC lip pencil, which I actually found this in a crayon box. I don't know if I should be using it, but the shade is in Whirl. Yep. Okay, and then this is an All May lip this is an all my liner here i have i don't know this is the brush that i use to put on my brows sometimes and what i use is this nyx eyebrow gel i don't really like this because it's hard to squeeze out the product then i also have this essence eyebrow gel and then here is actually i rarely use it but this is to depuff like your eyes oh shoot i have this wet and wild palette this was the first palette i bought this is elf blush palette which is really old it has four shades in it i there's no way i can use all of it because there is so much product in here and i just can't and then i also have another wet and wild contour palette i have a lot of wet and wild because it seems like it's the best like drugstore brand and it's also quite cheap so these brushes are from amazon i think and one of them is breaking it's this one Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is just an old Ulta brush, and then I also have some Eco Tools, and then this is my first brush that I bought. Here, I just have some of my moisturizers. I have my eyelash curler right there. Moving down here, this first drawer 
is where I keep most of my stuff. I just keep a few of my nail polishes back there and then this is a Ocean Sea Salt. I do have this Makeup Pixie Sing Mist. For my lipsticks, I have my foundation and these are a few of my palettes. The foundation I use is Wet n Wild. This shade is actually not my shade. And I went twice and my brother recommended me this one it was way too dark and this one is also still too dark here is a Mary Kate foundation Mary Kay my bad there are most of my lipsticks this is another buxom lip gloss and this is in Selena I know it looks really white but it looks really nice as like a lip topper I have this ColourPop ultra glossy lip this one's in Miami this is another buxom one. This is Dolly, which I will use often for school. This is just a Revlon tinted lip balm. Um, kind of like for my skin, but that's okay. And here, I have a Physician's Formula. This one is all natural nude. Here, I use this normally for the fall time. This is Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. This one's in the shade Cedar Later. I actually really like this one. This one's a matte lipstick by So Susan. And this one is really hard to like get off, like it really stays on your lips. This is a metallic lipstick by Revlon. Uh, this one, oh, it's in Shine. I don't really reach for it because it is metallic. It's kind of like out there. I did use it one time to go see a concert though. And here I have all my reds. It kind of goes from darker colors to lighter colors as it goes up. This is Wet n Wild also, same line, but actually no. Wet n Wild came out with the matte ones first and then the glossy ones, and I like both of them. I like probably the glossy one better, so I would recommend this. This is the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Lipstick. This one's in, um, you cannot see, but it says Top Tomato. And this one just has like some shimmer in it. And back here, I have another Revlon. This one's in the shade Passion. Oh, I think I actually wore this one for formal. And the last one back here, I also paid for this one myself. Actually, I paid for a lot of these myself, but this is the Becca Glow Gloss. This one is in the shade Dahlia or Dahlia, however. I have one that's also in Fox Glove. Yeah, so I do have this one, but obviously I've used a lot of it like there's no more product in here left it took me a year to finish this entire thing but me personally i like the color there's really good payoff with the color and it's actually really moisturizing so that's why i like this one sometimes i just take like a dab of it and put it on my lips and combine it with other lip glosses like this one so it's not as harsh um and that really looks pretty too so that's all those lip glosses and they all just sit in a acrylic container and then over here are my palettes the first one that's on top is the one i use the most i guess this is a ColourPop fame palette i got this one for my birthday and i actually really like it because it's natural so it just looks like that kind of looks like the shades are a little bit repetitive but it's really good for like just on the go kind of stuff like school the next, I actually bought this one. I bought this one myself also. This is an Anastasia Glow Kit. A lot of people have this, so I don't think it's that big of a surprise. I do still have the film over it because it is like quite new. This is the one I use more rather than the e.l.f. jelly highlighter. Okay, so there's that. And then underneath that, I have a Morphe palette. This one is in Jewel Crew 9C. This one I got for my birthday as well. Okay, so there is quite a good size mirror at the top. These are the colors. It's mainly purples and oranges. I do normally use this brown color. So that's that. And then the next palette I have is this Jaclyn Hill. This Jaclyn Hill palette. I used this in my getting ready video for a dinner party. I did a black smoky eye. So if you want to see how I use this palette, you can watch it after this video. The shades in here, she also has a good size mirror right here. And then the shades here, this is her dark magic palette. So that's why these are all quite dark colors. To me, this actually really reminds me of like the Wizard of Oz or something like that. I don't know. Last but not least, I have a massive Morphe palette down here. We all know how these palettes are. This is a 35, I think, oh, this is 35F. This is their fall, fall collection, I guess. This entire bottom row are matte colors. The rest are glitter. It's really pretty. So here are all the shades. There it is. It's palette 35F. I will reach for this one during the fall time or during the summer. Done with that drawer and on to this one. In here is kind of just a bunch of junk, but I still do have some makeup in here. Um, there are eyelashes from here. These are Kiss, I think, Kiss lashes. Back here are just my contacts and some backings for earrings because sometimes I lose them. Back here, I just have like, this is hair regrowth 
serum. This is the Aquaphor ointment I was talking about. This is Maybelline Master Prime Primer. I don't really use primer that often because I don't have time for it. Then here's just a hand lotion from Philosophy. It's just in a mini size. I have another one, so that's why this one's just sitting in here. Back here, I just have this. This is just a sample size, and it's from Ulta for my birthday. I haven't used this yet. I know the actual product's really expensive. And then here, I just have a few more candles because I don't know where else to put them. Okay, and then in here is where all my makeup is. These are just alcohol pads that I keep sometimes in case I need to, in case I need to wipe anything down. And then here, I have an eye cream from L'Oreal. Okay, and then underneath that, I have a Milani blush. This is in the shade Good Rose. To Oro. This is a baked blush. Then here I have a NYX lip oil. When I put it on, it doesn't actually come out to be this color. It's actually like really light. And right next to that, I also have another NYX lipstick. And here are just like some perfumes from I think Philosophy. No, Clinique. I got this for Christmas, same as the Philosophy lotion, so that's why I messed them up. I have this Buxom lip lip liner. This is in Incognito. I just have some lash glue. This would be my lash glue. This is a Milani lip plumping lip gloss. Here I also have more perfume. This is a rollerball from Victoria's Secret. I think I bought this in a pack. Here I have eyeliner from Ico. Here's another Revlon metallic lipstick. The shade is Flare. Then I have another Essence lip gloss. So I bought two of these, which came out to be like $3 or something. Right, this one is Flirt Alert. And then the other one. This other one is Happiness in a Bottle. I have a concealer. This is by Maybelline. A lot of people have this. I also don't use concealer that much. I have this Bustex lip balm. This is like a tinted lip balm. Red. It doesn't come out that red, obviously. This also has a mirror on the back of it, so that's like a nice feature, I guess. Underneath all of that, I have the rest of the three rollerball. I know this isn't makeup, but I'm just showing everything that's in here. This is teas and what is this? Scandalous. So that's all that's in the shower, and I made a mess. <sighs> to fix all this. Wait. Okay, so that is all that is in this drawer. Okay, I filmed for a really long time. Sorry if I dragged on a little bit. That's all of my makeup. I don't use all of it. I know that I am trying to use most of it though before I buy other products. So I hope you guys liked it, but stay tuned for more videos. If I do make videos, we'll see. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. What a wonderful